I know what one I think is better. What one do you think is better? So this is where my last tutorial left off. You just had simple paint job, which honestly works. But come on, guys, doesn't this look so much more real and just better? So this is what I call aging. It's got like dirt here and it's got some highlighting going on. Um, it's all fake because if you don't do this, it looks really boring in pictures and in real life and anything. So I'm gonna walk you through how I age a bit of these pieces. I'm not gonna show you every single piece because it's a lot of the same techniques just repeated. Anyways, let's just get started on how to age armor. I'm back to using acrylic paint and a small little brush. And I just kind of lightly pat it on in places I think that would be dirty. I am using a dry brush method, which means there is very little paint on my brush, so it's really heavy when I first start to put paint, and then as I continue to feather it out, there's less paint on my brush, so it just naturally fades out into the color of the red underneath it. And then I continue to go over the dark brown with a black in places that I think that would be really, really dirty. Next I'm moving on to my arm bracers. And kind of as a rule of thumb, I just kind of start in the corners and fade my way outwards. When you're painting and aging your pieces, just think to yourself, where would the most dirt be? And then put the dirt there. And don't forget about the little details, like the shadows I'm doing under the little pearls. It gives them depth and make them really stand out against the red. Again, I'm moving on to layering the black over the brown. I'm using it more of an accent color to really emphasize the places that are going to get the dirtiest, like the bottoms of the corners, because that's where dirt would fall on the bottom and it would get stuck in the crease. Lastly, I just use a little bit of white for some highlights on the top pieces of the armor. And I really use this white highlighting technique sparingly. I think I only did it on my arm braces and my shoulder piece. What I really like to use the white for is to highlight on the ridge pieces. And using the white just like the black, I'm not outlining every, every piece. I'm just doing accents on the top pieces that I think would catch the most light. Now on to the battle scars. Other than aging, putting the battle scars on is a total option. In my opinion, aging would look just fine. Battle scars just gives it that little, little niche to tip it over the edge. And to create these fake gashes, I can start off with the light brown, feather it on, and then add the black over it to make it look really deep and like there's a really big gash in my armor. And a little tip when you're aging, try to think of the pieces that get the most use, like your hands and your feet are gonna be the most dirty. You gotta think like the dirt, paint the dirt, be the dirt. It does get very messier. I guess I'll just go through and show you everything. Here's my breastplate, and see, I only highlight certain sections, like not every single piece needs to be highlighted, okay? But I do dirtify pretty much every nook and cranny. Also, I did go and highlight all around this crest because I really wanted to stand out, and the black kind of got lost in the red and all the dirt around it, so I needed to make it kind of stand out. This is my thigh armor piece. Oh no, dirt, age, little details, you know, just kind of make it more interesting. Not super detailed, just dirty and highlight. Dun dun! Very simple. I don't do this kind of highlighting very often. I think it looks really, really fake rather than dirt. But sometimes it just needs a little extra oomph, so just on certain places will I do that. My helm! Oh, okay. And guys, don't forget the back. If you see it, you gotta age it or else it's gonna look funny. Ooh. That needs more glue. But don't I feel snazzy? Oh, this gold is so shiny. I love it. So, and that's the cover piece that goes on my ankle. This is my one shoulder piece. Cha, yeah, yeah. And this got really, really dirty for some reason. I don't know what happened. I was just like black. But I feel like. Because just this one side, my left arm has more armor on it. Um, I feel like this is the arm I would use to like, bash people. And I know she's right-handed and I'm right-handed, so you'd think this would be your more powerful arm. But I am right-handed. This is the arm I'm going to want to use. So the arm that's full of armor, I made my left hand so I'd be less likely to use it. Oh, so snazzy. It's like I would poke people and this would get dirty, you know. It just happens that way. So I think that's about it. 
The only thing I haven't done yet is my calf pieces because it's 12.30 and I've got school tomorrow. So whatever, you just do this like the rest, but that's how you age stuff. It's pretty fun, right? This is like the creative part after the boring painting priming part. Just gotta play with it. Just do whatever you want. It doesn't matter as long as you think there be dirt there, put dirt there. Good luck guys and have fun.